So what is augmented analytics? Uh, augmented analytics to me is when you take uh, what traditionally was a very manual workflow with, with analytics, whether that's preparing data, analyzing data, and you automate that and you deliver that to an end user so that together the human and the machine create something very, very special. Um, how is it used today? Well, the three primary use cases. There's the data preparation use case, so the ability to prepare data faster. Then there's the profiling of data. So once I've got my data in, in a tool to analyze, I can automatically profile that and discover the shape of that data. And then lastly, it's the automation of continuous discovery. So constantly looking for changes in my data and seeing what's changing, how it's changing, be alerted to those changes. So if we look at the industry today, what's happening? Um, clearly, the most value is being um, seen around that automated discovery use case. Um, and we know that because it's the only sector out of those three that we see independent vendors creating very, very unique solutions, people who are bringing purely automated discovery solutions to market. Um, and what we're seeing on the flip side is we're seeing existing vendors in the BI and analytics space um, in somewhat in denial. They don't, they're not actually reacting to these changes. They're not building product that sort of is, is going down that path. And they're really hoping that this automated discovery just simply disappears. Um, but what we're seeing from those vendors and from the vendors who are going all in on automated discovery is that we're starting to see a convergence in the way in which um, they're solving that problem. And in particular, one of the sort of ways to see this and highlight it is the UI and the user experience. And we're starting to see those converge. And to me, that's what really highlights and proves that this is a market that's going to stay, it's going to be around for a long time, and that customers are going to adopt it um, because we're going to see something that is concrete and understandable by everyone, just like dashboards are today.